So, Miss Sarah here. I thought it was time to address the elephant in the room or the fact that we haven't talked about toilet paper holders yet and what we can do with them. We've all got an obnoxious amount of these at our houses right now because we're all at home more than we usually are. And so I thought I would stop by and just throw a couple suggestions out there of what you could do with them. So the first thing is, and I've done this in my class before, is you can paint with these, but you can do more than just paint circles. And so if you're working on shapes, you can take these and you can fold them and turn it into, if you keep trying, you can turn it into a square, you can turn them into hearts, you can turn them into triangles. And so for a painting activity, if you want to use a couple of these, turn them into different shapes, uh, get a couple different colors, um, maybe even the primary colors, start mixing colors, talking about that kind of stuff. And so that is a fun activity to do with what we all have going on at home. You could also set them up if you have enough of them. You could create a game of bowling. If you guys have a ball or a ball that was smaller, you could throw them and turn it into a bowling game. You could also put them on the ground and throw them into a toss game. If you got some rings, you could throw them on there like that. Marbles, anything like that. Not for our younger kids, no marbles. But there are a lot of options with toilet paper rolls, paper towel holders, all of those things. And we've all got these things at home right now. So I thought I would stop by, share a couple suggestions, and I hope you guys enjoy using what we've got at home for some fun.